life will become difficult towards the end. Challenges will come. Disasters will come. Catastrophes will come. The earth will be covered in injustice and in wars and in battles. And you see that today. Look at the Arab Spring. Look at Syria. Look at Africa. Look at what's happening there in Russia. Mankind is becoming more and more unstable and unhappy and miserable and in difficulty and in turmoil. And when the earth is covered with injustice as it is going towards that direction, the Prophet ﷺ gives us the glad tidings of a righteous ruler who will come. Now about this righteous ruler, the Prophet ﷺ says he will fill the earth up with justice and peace as it was filled with oppression and wrong. Good days will come after these difficulties. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to lift this ummah from its absolute misery and feeble state that it is now. It's going to lift it back up to its victorious honorable state, back to its nobleness that it once carried, this ummah. From once being united to our disunity today, it will return back to the unity. It's going to return back to its glory. It will become the leading nation of the world in every sense of the word as it once was before and even better. And with regards to this ruler, a thousand and fifty ahadith have been narrated, of which four are sahih. The Prophet wasallam, at his time, one day he came at Zuhur to the masjid and started to speak about the signs of the end. That this is what will happen and this is what will And he wasallam, spoke from Zuhur until Asr. And then they gave the Adhan for Asr, they stood up, they prayed. The Prophet wasallam, stood back up and started to speak again from Asr until Maghrib. And in that way he continued and the Ashab say, he mentioned and went through every sign and we remembered what we could remember and forgot what we forgot. So amidst those signs that the Prophet wasallam mentioned, he mentions this hadith. And I want you to listen to it carefully. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, تَكُونُ النُّبُوَّةُ فِيكُمْ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ أَن تَكُونَ ثُمَّ يَرْفَعُهَا اللَّهُ إِذَا شَاءَ أَن يَرْفَعَهَا Prophethood will stay amidst you so long as Allah Rabbul Izzah wishes for it to remain. Then Allah Rabbul Izzah will lift up prophethood and prophethood would be no more. And we knew our witnesses that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away. Prophethood was lifted and prophethood is no more. So Ya Rasul, what will happen after prophethood? So he said, ثُمَّ تَكُونُ خِلَافَةً رَاشِدًا فَتَكُونُ فِيكُمْ مَا شَاءَ اللَّهُ أَن تَكُونُ ثُمَّ يَرْفَعُهَا اللَّهُ إِذَا شَاءَ أَن يَرْفَعَهَا Then will come the age of the rightly guided Khulafa. The rightly guided Khalifas of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.